It is what it is. It's the Plug Radio LA coming live from Hollywood, California, man. I'm your host, Pete, representing South Central Carolina. I got a special guest right here, so talk to the people and introduce yourself, man. What's going on, everybody? I'm DJ Prodigy, straight out of Indianapolis, Indiana, out here in LA. Just trying to do that music, bless the world with my story. <laughs> I'm just an artist slash producer out here, you know, just trying to graduate college with a degree and, and get out here and do this music, hip hop and R&B. Um, we got it basically whatever you want. I do, I do it all. I love reggae music too, so I like the island music. Hit on the drums a little bit, get the ladies flowing. <laughs> okay. I see you say you like reggae music, so what are some of your musical inspirations? You know, you say you do reggaeton, you do it all, you produce and everything, so yeah. who and what are some of your musical inspirations? What inspired you to want to do music in the first place? Artists or uh, movements or whatever? Well, basically, you know, like, uh, I'm inspired by a lot of different uh, artists. Uh, Bob Marley, the great legend, rest in peace, you know, definitely, definitely one of the biggest inspirations to me because, you know, I decided to... Uh, while I was in the military overseas a little bit, I decided to pick up a book and, and that book just so happened to be his autobiography and it taught me like a lot of things like that I didn't really know about him. So it like opened my eyes to things like how he was really living and, and how inspirational he was with his music and as far as he took it and, and basically all the sacrifice that he made just for his music and the peace and everything that he wanted to make through his music. I kind of want to go in that similar direction with mine. And that's kind of that's kind of a big inspiration on me. That's dope. That's dope. I'm glad to hear that, and I appreciate the service. You know what I'm saying? For Veteran sure. serving in the military. Appreciate that. Sorry. And what is one uh, characteristic or strong point that you think that you can use coming from the military into the entertainment industry? How do you feel like that military experience can benefit you coming into this game? Well, I feel like you know I got a little bit of knowledge of contracts, you know, in a in a sense, you know, kind of like how the military uh, uses people in a in a sense, not really use in the term, but more or less like um, sets them up for as far as their job description and what they're entitled to do and by the laws, I feel like are kind of similar to the entertainment industry. You know, when you sign a contract with like Warner Brother or, or you know, um, uh, Capitol Records or anything like that, Def Jam, you know, they end up basically the same structure you know you have to abide your music by this this and this you know follow this structure on there so i feel like that would help me like the most being in the entertainment industry having a little knowledge of that and being able to take that and incorporate that into my music and you know keeping my thing within a structure as well that's good man because you, if you don't have structure, you have chaos. So that's one thing. You take the structure, you can, you know, take over the world. Now, tell us about some of your upcoming projects. All right. So right now, I'm working on a, my first release EP. It's called The Rebirth of a Prodigy. It's basically just tell you who I am, explain everything that I've been through, like basically from up until now, and like just like hit on some key points in my life, like with the death of my grandma who raised me. You know, one of the closest things to me. Uh, I got a song on there. It's about uh, my mother, who kind of, you know, I felt like, you know, hurt me in many ways, you know, that only a mother can do. So that kind of got to me in, in, in some ways. So I got a song out there for her. I just want to, you know, ho hopefully get her to understand where I'm coming from in my song. And then um, I got a song out with the homie called Back At It Again. Um, D CAC, shout out to the homie Machiavelli. I see you, bro. We're going to get this music. Show up that time, put us on the map. And, you know, I got a song out there for the ladies, too. You know, it's called Lust and Crazy. Uh, this whole EP is planned. I'm planning to drop at the end of this summer. Uh, everything's in production now. It's already wrote. Just need to be recorded. And we just going we just going to turn up like, ladies, I got something for you. It's going gonna, gonna to make y'all step out there and, and really understand what it means to for a man to not only love you, but lust you as well. You got to watch out for that, you know. Definitely. It could, definitely. Be, it could be one or the other. Right, right, right. You're definitely making a good move by having something for the ladies, man. You know, the feminist movement strong got you. And plus, you got another advantage. You light skin, man. Light skin is winning right now, man. <laughs> Golden State Warriors, Drake, right, yeah, all the I light skin boys is killing, man. 2016 is y'all year. Yeah. But uh, uh, what is one thing that helps bring you back into focus? You know, it's a lot of times, you know, running 
being motivated and driven by all kind of ambitions, you know, we all got that one thing that brings us back into focus and be like, all right, this is why I'm here, this is my purpose. You have any kids, anything sentimental that you can kind of think about that always brings you back and see the most important thing about your mission? Well, uh, yeah, I definitely have a, a, a significant uh, young one that I, that I uh, care a lot about. And, you know, just to think about him, you know, anytime I'm doing anything, even when I was, you know, down and out in the overseas, you know, missing him badly. You know, anytime I think, I just look up and I and I picture him and, you know, him thinking, you know, like looking up at, at me. So, you know, that's like my motivation. Like, I'm a big role model to him and I want to be a role model to any kid, you know, get back when I get the opportunity to and, and just, you know, open up to the community, you know, show everybody that I care. It's not just about us as artists to just, you know, get money and spend it. It's about us to, to get money and get back and, and, sh and don't forget where we come from, you know be deeper into our roots and and I just want to show my son and you know my family that that we can we can all do it you know it don't just take you know a big millionaire artist to do it you know even the little ones can do it as well we just got to play our part in and just you know show the community what's real and, and you know not the violence and everything else that everybody tries to show us all right so you speak of being a role model and being a role model, especially as an entertainer, is a lot of expectations come with that. So how do you plan to separate your life in entertainment from your real life? You know, because you might speak a certain way within the music, but that could be so far from who you really are. Because at the end of the day, we are entertainers, so we're here to entertain people. So how do you plan to help separate your real life from entertainment? Because it's a fine line. So what do you plan to do to keep it separate? Well, I plan to... Separated to to a certain extent, like I mean, I know some people would would probably disagree with me, disagree with me when I just say I remain to be myself because how I feel on the outside and how I feel on the inside doesn't reflect anything that that could person that could possibly harm me. Like as far as you know, somebody worried about seeing me in a in a certain light, like you know, I'm not a heavy drinker, so I don't go out and do drugs or anything. You know, I am 420 friendly. I believe that's you know normal and earthly, but yeah. just like anybody else, you know, I like to toke up. <laughs> Wiz, we need to get that together, you know. Okay. <laughs> Full 20 credit. But, you know, um, other than that, man, like, I just, I feel like you can you can take that and be yourself as long as you have that 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 self-motivation about yourself and that and that determination that, that how you feel on the outside and what you look like and how you feel when you look in that mirror in the morning or, or lay down to, to, to thank the man upstairs for allowing you to be able to go to sleep in peace and, and to keep you safe, you know, how you feel about all that is what matters. So to me, I, I'm not really afraid to, to show the real side and my inter in the entertainment side, necessarily from the entertainment to the real side. All right, so we got a veteran, an entertainer, and you aspiring to be great. So what? how do you want to be remembered? That's part of being legendary or leaving a legacy behind. You want people to remember you a certain kind of way after every time you deal with them. So how do you want to be remembered? Man, I want to be remembered for somebody that would pretty much help anybody and do anything to help anybody come up. It's not about putting each other down. I feel like it's about not only as artists but as people, we need to learn to help each other up instead of putting each other down and talking about them like you know what I'm saying help that person out you see homeless instead of giving him change to go spend on drugs or, or alcohol ask that man if he need a place to stay for the night you got a house if anything if you don't trust him that much you can lock him in the garage where he gonna go he can't lift up the garage if you got it locked so he can't do nothing for you the least you can do is offer the man a place to stay you see it's cold outside or or you know what I'm saying he out there sleeping on the ground with no food feeding then put him back on the street if you want to but all I'm saying is help the next person. Don't just put him down, laugh at him, and talk about him. Our generation needs to step up and, and show that we still genuine and we still human beings and not just, you know what I'm saying, pow, pow, you, you ugly this, you ugly that. Just be a real-ass man and, 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 you know what I'm saying, help that person instead of putting him down. Strong words, strong words. I got to ask you this. I, you know Golden State playing the Cavs. It's the finals. <laughs> so who you rolling with, man? Man. For those that know me, I can't I can't thug it, I can't lie to you. I am a LeBron fan. I've always been a LeBron James fan. I still got faith in the King and I believe he's gonna make a comeback even though they just lost. I just heard, so 
I think LeBron James is going to step it up and, and change it back, and, and they're going to win it again. I got, the, I got the Cavs all the way. Okay, we rolling with the Cavs. All right, before we get up out of here, man, let the people know all social media, where they can find you, know, holler at them. All right, man. You can holler at me, DJ underscore Prodigy, Instagram, Twitter. Snapchat is DJ T Prodigy 28. Check me out. The EP, Rebirth of a DJ, Rebirth of a Prodigy, coming out the end of August, the end of the summer. We're going to turn it up. Let's turn get up. it. All right, you already know we here broadcasting live from Hollywood, California. It's the Plug Radio LA. Get connected, stay connected. Yeah.